Hello, 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 and welcome to myfinanceteacher.org. In this video, I want to have a look at energy. More specifically, we're going to have a look at crude oil and energy companies ETF, XLE. Looking at the crude oil chart, we see that the intermediate cycle on crude oil is 109 days old at the moment. Usually, these cycles in crude oil last for just over half a year. The previous intermediate cycle lasted for 196 days. So this cycle is most likely just past its midpoint and perhaps yesterday this cycle has actually topped as well. So as the cycle is past the midpoint and as the 14-day RSI is into overbought territory, a couple of days ago it was above 83. I think some sort of a cool down is probably likely over the next short term, over the next few days. And in the intermediate term for the rest of the intermediate cycle, even if there are any gains in crude oil, I think the gains are going to be muted over the next, say, two to four weeks before the intermediate cycle has to correct a little bit. Perhaps retesting this support resistance zone at around $54 to $55. That's based on the February 2020 highs as well as January this year highs. And as I said, even if in the short term crude oil continues to move somewhat higher, the next resistance zone is going to be actually pretty strong at around $65 based on January 2020 highs. Additionally, looking at the Bollinger Bands, we see that Bollinger Bands have widened a little bit and crude oil price has already poked several times above those Bollinger Bands, which usually means that at least some sort of consolidation is probably due. Although looking at the RSI, we see that having been quite oversold recently, RSI hasn't given us a negative divergence yet. A negative divergence is when price is showing us higher highs, possibly by testing that resistance zone near 65, and RSI doesn't go into the higher highs. That is a negative divergence, which often also precedes some sort of a cool down. We don't see that yet, so possibly after a little bit of cool down in crude oil, it might try to get closer to that resistance at 65 before correcting into the end of the ongoing intermediate cycle. In either case, at the moment, some caution is advised in energy. Although in the long term, over the next, say, a couple of years, I'm still very bullish on energy. Next, let's have a look at the market sentiment. That's optimism index on crude oil. We see that whenever this optimism index pokes above this red line, uh, that's when crude oil is relatively close to its top. And what do we see at the moment? The market optimism on crude oil is actually unusually high. Just a couple of days ago, it was as high as 69, which you could have expected after all, Less than a year ago, the market sentiment on crude oil was extremely low. So a bit of a bounce and an overshoot in the opposite directions to the extremely optimistic sentiments. But going forward from here, it's uh, again, as I said, probably a little bit risky and any gains are likely to be very modest. So I see crude oil a little bit oversold at the moment. A similar view on crude oil recently came out from one of these consulting companies showing the average price of crude oil over the last year, shown with this red line. And the source notes that at the moment crude oil is actually more than one standard deviation above that average crude oil price over the last year. So possibly a little bit overbought at the moment and some caution is advised. Let's have a look at our own measurements of average price and standard deviation as I like to see those measurements change with price fluctuations. So what we have here is weekly price in blue line going back to the beginning of 2020. The gray line below is the four week moving average or one month moving average minus one standard deviation over that month. And the pink line above is similarly that four week moving average or one month moving average plus one standard deviation over that month. Clearly in early 2020, with the economies suffering from health concerns, oil price was dropping sharply to negative price levels and often staying more than one standard deviation below its monthly average price. Since then, the recovery has also been very strong as prices were extremely oversold. And at the moment, after multiple pokes above that one standard deviation over the monthly average, crude oil price is probably going to consolidate a little bit and perhaps retest that support around $55 or below. 
Next, let's have a look at energy companies, more specifically XLE, that's an ETF tracking this energy sector within S&P 500. And we see a negative divergence on XLE forming since the beginning of 2021. Negative divergences, as I mentioned, often precede some sort of a cool down, some sort of a decline in prices. These negative divergences are actually the opposite of a positive divergence that we see in the end of 2020, where a chart price creates a lower low, whereas RSI creates a higher low. Positive divergences often precede some sort of a rally. Additionally, the Wednesday high on XLE came very close to testing that resistance zone from summer last year. I've been discussing this resistance zone for quite a while and we've been expecting XLE to come close to that resistance over the last couple of months. Talking about our expectations and most recent trades, some of our most recent trades in the model portfolio of myfinanceteacher.org is the trade in XLE, where back on the 16th of February, we reduced our allocation significantly after really nice gains, although I'm still holding a much smaller position on XLE, as in the long term, I expect energy to do well as the vaccination process continues and the economies gradually open up. Another example of most recent trades in the model portfolio is from the 17th of February, where we got out from a URA, that's a uranium miners ETF, on the 17th of February at around the price of 19, again, after a pretty nice gains here as well. So for more frequent analysis, why not join us at myfinanceteacher.org? You can do that by clicking this register button. The first month is only $5 and it's $10 per month after that. For now, let me leave you with this question. Do you think a gradual opening up of the economies will have a strongly positive effect on energy prices over the next couple of years? Or do you think a push towards greener energy will actually push crude oil prices and oil companies down? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Also, remember to hit that like button and share this video with your friends. Have a wonderful day and good luck in your trades.